There will be sampling your thoughts and comments in the course of this live broadcast. Now, President Uhuru Kenyatta is warning that the government will not allow a few individuals or groups out to satisfy what he calls their selfish political ambitions to destroy the country. The president, the government, however, says everyone must obey the rule of law. But in a quick rejoinder, NASA leader Raila Odinga is blaming security officers for the violence and deaths during processions to welcome him from his trip in the U.S. Duncan Hamba with that report. Chaotic scenes that marred NASA leader Raila Odinga's return to the country that left several people dead, many injured and property worth millions destroyed as NASA supporters and police engaged in running battles. The government has, however, issued a stern warning to the opposition as President Uhuru Kenyatta declared he will not sit back and watch the country set on a path of destruction. Hata kama mimi nilikuwa nimeona nimekosewa. Sasa jameni wengine si lazima pia wafuate sheria na katiba. The president stated that Kenya is a country governed by the rule of law and every Kenyan must abide by irrespective of their status. Hatuwezi turuhusu wachache watubomolee inchi. We have a constitution and we are a nation that is governed by rules and laws. And we must all abide by it. And asking people to respect that is not going overboard. And we shall demand that we must continue to be a nation that is guided by our constitution and that lives within the rule of law. We will not allow this country to go the slippery route of anarchy and chaos and violence and division and sectarianism and tribalism. We will stand firm to keep Kenya together. In a rejoinder, NASA says it will not relent until electoral justice is achieved. It is clear now that the longer Uhuru tries to achieve his dictatorial goals, the more the entire economy will suffer. The opposition outfit has lamented over chaos that transpired on Friday terming the events as the deadliest ever since the 2007 post-election violence that shocked Kenya. There is immense sadness in our land for those who have perished. But to them I say, not a single one of you will be forgotten. You did not die in vain. You sacrificed your lives for the cause of democracy as it gave you the freedom to choose your leaders and determine the direction of your country. However, the government has castigated Odinga, claiming he is propagating divisive politics under the guise of championing democracy. This country is too important to be left in the hands of people who believe in division, who believe in chaos, who believe in bloodshed. The prolonged political and economic crisis that we have been living with for months now is the responsibility solely of the Jubilee regime's actions. Both President Kenyatta and his deputy said the government will be firm in enforcing the law to ensure the life of Kenyans and their property are safeguarded. You showed tyranny is no match for a people determined to reclaim democracy and the rule of law. This needless brutality and the deaths yesterday show us all once again that this Jubilee regime opposes democratic choice as it cannot compete against the rest of us. We will not, we will never succumb to intimidation or violence or blackmail. For now, the political stalemate continues as NASA promises to outline their next course of action. From next week, we will be updating Kenyans on a continuous basis on the full range of actions uh, NASA and, and plans by NASA to reclaim and defend democracy and ensure electoral justice.
Headline stands between Jubilee Party and the National Super Alliance, now a resistance movement that comes barely 48 hours before the Supreme Court delivers a second verdict on the presidential election within two months. Kenyans will be waiting to see how the cookie will crumble come Monday, November 20th.